was really nice as obviously a boxing fan to see you and Audley not only kind of being civil, but like he's helping you and you're you're spending all of this time together. Was, was that something that just happened for this, or did you did you have a dialogue already open? Were you still friendly? Because obviously a lot of fans will remember you saying this, that, and the other to each other before you're getting ready to fight. But there, there was some really nice soft moments between you two. Yeah, I've I've known Audley since I was I think seventeen. At seventeen years old, we when I started representing England. Um, on the senior England team. He was the super heavyweight representative. I was the light heavyweight uh, representative. And we used to travel around the world. He was in went to Houston, Texas to the World Championships. We've been to Poland, Finland. We've been all over the world, training camps in Tallahassee. And we've been all over the world. And it was always true. It was always um, a little bit of the rebels sort of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the team. But yeah, we, we, we've known each other and been friends for a long, long time. And when he won the Olympic gold medal um, in Sydney, you know that was a major, as, as a mega moment for him, and obviously me. You know, he was, he was my I looked up to, I looked up to, you know, the fact that we, we both started off with big dreams, and he said, "I'm going to be the Olympic gold medalist." I said that also. I wanted to be the Olympic gold medalist. I wasn't. I didn't qualify for the, the Olympics. He did, and he went on and won the gold. And, you know, I remember thinking, yeah, you know, he had a plan. He told me exactly who was going in there. He strategized how he was going to do it. And he went and did it. And, you know, growing up, having someone you know who's achieved so much in the, the, the star, the stardom that he got, you know, he came back and he was, he was, he was the man. He, he, he was as Andy Joshua was when he came back from the Olympics. You know, it was just, it was a mega, mega uh, feeling to have, you know, a good friend of yours achieve so much. And then obviously he turned professional and did his A Force promotion, so he sort of promoted himself. And so I, I was watching in the in the background, watching how he was running the show, how he was doing things. You know, I took some, I did take some other bits. You know, so I kind of learned. I learned a lot of the stuff that I've done uh, through his experiences. You know, and they always say, you know, try to learn from other people's um, mistakes. Um, I I, uh, I saw some amazing things that he did. I saw some things where oh, I'm sure if he was to do it again, he'd do it a different way. So when I did my thing, I tried to adapt it. And my boxing career was definitely influenced by um, Audley Harrison and the way he, he did business. And, um, you know, I'm definitely I'll always be thankful for that. You know, I was just looking from the side. I was only a young kid back then. I was you know, late teens. And I think he was, you know, I was, what was, how was I? I would have been there. When he won Olympics, I'd have been like nine to eight, and I'm 19 years old. So um, it was nice to see someone in control of their life and in control of their career and predicting what they were going to do and, and going out and you know, doing a lot of that. And um, you know, I've been moving close. You know, obviously, uh, we, we had a boxing match in 2010, I think it was. I won that. But after that, we were, we were, we were buddies, buddies ever since. You know, he's whenever he's in, in the UK because he's based in the States. Whenever he's in the UK, he visits me and vice versa. You know, so it's just been nice to, you know, have a you know a long a long friendship with someone who, randomly, you know, I reached out to him. I was like, you know, Audley, I need your help. And you know, he to the point where he was flying, he flew flew over to the Philippines. He came over to the World Series of Poker. He flew over to Coventry. You no, know, he, he came to he literally came to Coventry because I needed I needed his, I needed his support there. And um, it was a uh, no, it was it was definitely it was definitely something that. Um, I own one. I own a big one for sure. Um, but it's just it's a fun, it's a fun, fun journey, poker, and uh, it's definitely something I'll be playing for for many, many years to come. Okay. Well, before we talk some boxing, David, just before we let you go, obviously you, the documentary is out today. So just tell people how they can watch it and uh, give us a little yeah, bit of salesmanship. Yeah, yeah Amazon Prime. Tune to Amazon Prime. It's a, it's a feature length doc. It's 90, 90 minutes or so, and uh, you see me learning from. From not knowing how to play poker to entering the biggest poker tournaments in the world against playing against the best poker players in the world. See how the haymaker cracks. So I'm not Captain Haymaker that I named myself. I've got all captains. I should put my hands around this. I'm like, <laughs> captains, yeah, Captain Haymaker does. 